welcome to another book review. My name is Sophie and this is Book Reviews by Sophie. Today's book is One True Loves by Taylor Jenkins Reid. The genre is romance and it's set in Massachusetts and was published in 2016. One True Loves focuses on Emma. In her early 20s, she marries her high school sweetheart, the adventurous Jessie. They move out to California and travel the world together. They're in marital bliss until on their first wedding anniversary, Jessie goes missing on an assignment for a nature documentary and sadly is gone for good. Heartbroken, Emma tries to pick up the pieces of her life and moves back to her hometown in Massachusetts. About a decade later, Emma runs into an old high school friend, Sam. Soon, the two are engaged and Emma feels lucky to have another chance at love and happiness. Everything is finally turning around for Emma until unexpectedly, Jessie turns up alive. Now Emma has to make the tough choice. Who is her true love? Her high school sweetheart or her second chance at love? Now let's talk about my thoughts. I would have to rate this book a five out of five stars. This book was devastatingly beautiful. It had really, really sad points where I was literally bawling my eyes out, but it was really an amazing read for me. I'm always very impressed by books that can draw such intense emotions out of me. And One True Loves is definitely one of those books. Also, it's important to point out that the love triangle trope is different than how it usually is portrayed in most books. Sometimes I actually find the trope frustrating because to me, oftentimes there's an obvious choice, but not in this book. I found myself flip-flopping back and forth on who Emma should end up with. This made me feel really connected to the book and I didn't want to put it down. However, I am very happy with who Emma ended up choosing. It makes sense and had a very satisfying ending. This is truly one of my favorite books and is masterfully written. Anyone who has ever loved anyone romantically will definitely get emotional during this read and feel connected to it. That I can say for sure. I also really enjoyed how it was set in Massachusetts and some of the places mentioned I actually recognized. It's just always fun when that happens. I would also like to discuss some of the themes from the book. One major theme is the idea of how people can grow and change over time. A quote that supports this is on page 281. That's exactly my point. This is you now, short blonde hair. And that's not you anymore. I can't just look at you and ignore your hair. I have to look at you as who you are right now, today. This quote kind of talks about how throughout your life, it is normal to make changes physically and into your personality and your emotions. It's also normal to learn and grow. This is definitely the case for Emma. As though she loves both Jesse and Sam, she's a different version of herself for both of them. Another theme is about soulmates. This book doesn't really have any concrete takes on whether soulmates are real or not. It kind of leaves that part ambiguous and up to the reader. Instead, it actually focuses on the idea that people can have more than one soulmate or more than one true love. Who do I think should read this book? I think anyone who is interested in a book that would make them feel emotional would love this story. Additionally, this is definitely a solid love story, so I think romance lovers will be happy as well. Just be sure to go on remembering that this book has its sad parts and is not all sunshine and rainbows. Well, that's it for today's book review. Make sure to tune in for another book review coming soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!